Hi and welcome back guys. The DXY is pumping like crazy and that is really really bad news for Bitcoin as Bitcoin is moving down here right now. So and we have to definitely look at the next support levels and potential breakout levels for a reversal for the Bitcoin price today. So definitely stick around here. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like this video and also activate the bell so that you will never miss out on these important updates, especially on crazy days like today. So let's directly jump into the charts here. So I have found earlier today, I haven't seen it before, that we have here this crazy rising wedge where the DXY is now testing the upward sloping resistance line, which has a crazy stiff angle to the upside and looks like that it wants to break out of it um, still today, which would be absolutely insane. And also here that um, horizontal resistance uh, level here got broken and because of that we got here this crazy pump base also this upward sloping uh resistance line got broken and that led to this crazy pump here to the upside i have not seen the pce numbers yet but i bet uh, that they have been not good and that's why um everybody is rushing back into the dollar and that's why bitcoin is going down here right now so when we look here on the Bitcoin for hourly chart, nothing has changed much in our falling wedge here. So we are still within uh, the falling wedge, which is fine. So but we could see Bitcoin going down to at least twenty three thousand four hundred dollars approximately here before we see here a significant bounce back to the upside. And when we look on some uh, horizontal levels, then we can see that Bitcoin is sitting right now at one coming from here. So we have touch points here from this wick, here from this fake out, here again from these fake outs, then from here a retest, then also here from this massive pump, then here support, 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 and now we are retesting that level. So if we lose that level, then I expect Bitcoin definitely to go here to $23,400 next. And if we also lose that level, Guys, it will not look all too good here over the weekend. I bet that uh, we will then definitely go down here all the way to $22,700, which I had mentioned here multiple times now <coughs> in the course of this week. And that will be definitely then the most important level for the bulls to hold. Because if we would also lose that level, then we are back under uh, twenty-two thousand dollars, twenty-one thousand seven hundred dollar would be most likely uh, the next level that would, uh, yeah, that we would be touching here. So of course that gives also if you want to short trade a nice opportunity for a short trade. Um, I'm personally not trading this short uh, because I think uh, that the market overall is still super superly bullish and it's really dangerous to short in a super bullish market so but if you would like to short this then my short would look something like this here with a risk to reward ratio of uh, of three which is absolutely fine so um, i only take uh, trades with a risk to reward ratio from at least three so and if we would lose that level then you could short it all the way down uh, here to 21,700 and would you give a risk to reward ratio of six so but like i said i don't like to take a short here in that moment i would not even scalp short this uh, because it, what could happen is that we see a quick fall all the way down here a crazy move to the downside and then we get an insane wick in the same candle and we come straight back up and the next candle goes like this so uh, that is something that we should take in consideration that this uh, could be happening um, and, and that could be a massive massive uh bear trap for the bears if we see something like this so that's why i'm really cautious here so uh, when it comes to long positions <coughs> then um, a good long uh, long entry would be also here twenty two thousand seven hundred dollars um, and then i would get out again at twenty five thousand two hundred dollars and here my uh, stop loss would be kind of like here <coughs> or even yeah, here would be good stop loss. So here I have a risk to reward ratio of uh, 6.5. Um, that is also a good ratio. Uh, so and um, if we move lower, let's say we go all the way down here. Then 
here would uh, I would add to my positions and it would then average out to a risk to reward ratio of approximately seven, eight ish something. So which is still a really, really good opportunity that we could get here. So guys, don't forget, if you want to trade, do it on Bybit. You still get $30,000 with my specific link here or $20,000 with Bet BitGet also only with that link in the description below or in the pinned comment below. So then let's move on here. So to, on the daily chart, we are still seeing here this um, inverse head and shoulders pattern. Here also um, the way how that pattern is forming. If we are staying above $23,400, we could see the completion of the right shoulder where we come back to this resistance and then actually break here to the upside. There's not much more to say when it comes to that. Here on the 30 minutes, here's something that we can watch in the short term for also a good long opportunity. Uh, that is this downward sloping resistance line that we are seeing here right now. Uh, that will be, in my opinion, definitely be retested today at some point, especially when we look here on the stochastic RSI, uh, which should be trending down now if it's loading. Yeah, so here within the next 90 minutes, we will hit the bottom and from there uh, we could see an impulse move back up here to retest that level. And um, yeah, if we get a breakout, that could be for a scalp a nice opportunity to um, make here a long trade yes guys so it's the weekend there's nothing much more to say don't forget smash up the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i'll see you then again tomorrow